showed us how to live and how to die. We cannot rise with Christ unless we walk the path with him. It is by dealing with our own problems that we come to know God's mercy and love. So as we enter into this journey with our Lord, let us feel as he felt, hurt as he hurt, loved as he loved. The first station. Jesus is unjustly condemned. Jesus is unfairly accused and put on trial for loving and caring about others. Pilate convicts Jesus even though he knows it is wrong to please the crowd. Sometimes we meet people and judge them because of the way they look or act. Sometimes we forget to do the right thing and follow the crowd. Dear Jesus, help me to be fair and help me not to judge others. Help me to stand up for what I believe in and always do the right thing. Keep me close to you. Help me to call out to you, especially when I'm sad and lonely. <coughs> The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. Once the punishment is announced, Jesus knows there's only one way for him to go. He takes up his cross and starts on his way. His innocent body is badly bruised from head to toe and he is so alone now. Yet somehow he sees all the love and strength God has given him and continues on his way. Dear Jesus, sometimes my problems seem so heavy and painful. Like a cross, I feel like it's crushing me. When I feel alone, I wonder, am I the only one? Help me remember that God, my family and friends, can help me if I ask them. The third section, Jesus falls under the cross. The cross is heavy and Jesus is weak. The soldiers are pushing him along. When all of a sudden, he stumbles and falls. Sometimes we say mean things that hurt others. It is like falling, like every time we do not listen to our parents or fail to do our homework or cheat on a test. Dear Jesus, I make mistakes. Help me to realise that when I hurt others or do not when I can, I am hurting myself and everyone I love. The fourth station, people need to Along the road, Mary catches a glimpse of her son, and for a brief moment their eyes meet. Imagine the pain she must feel, knowing, knowing that she cannot do anything to help him. A mother is loving and forgiving. One who shares our sorrow and pain as one of her own. Our joy is her joy. Our sadness, her sadness. Dear Jesus, help me to love your mother Mary, who loved me so much. Help me to open my heart and share my sadness with others. Help me to know my friends are there to stand with me when I am sad and angry. Help me open my heart so I can always accept help. The fifth station. Simon helps carry the cross. Simon is just an ordinary person. He is selected out of the crowd to help Jesus carry his cross. Simon did not want to get involved, but by the time they reached reached the top of the hill, was glad he helped Jesus. Sometimes we argue about having to help or do things we do not want to do. Dear Jesus, help me allow others in my life, like mom and dad, to help me with my problems, help me to realize that I need help and to trust people like you trusted son. Sixteen. Veronica wants the face of Jesus. Jesus is hot and sweaty, and the blood is running into his eyes, making it difficult to see. 
Out of the crowd comes Veronica, a woman who makes her way to Jesus to wipe his face. To thank her, he left a picture of his face on her veil. Like Veronica, we should offer our help willingly without always having to be asked. Dear Jesus, teach me to be brave and stand up for what is right. Help me to realize that whenever I help others, I am helping myself. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. Jesus falls again. The cross seems heavier now, and the pain is stronger. Yet no one there could take away his suffering. He was all alone. There are times, like Jesus, we feel alone. Dear Jesus, in my own mind, I have been in pain and afraid. But with help from my family and you, I have been through so long. When the sadness The eighth station, Jesus consoles the women and children. Despite his own suffering, Jesus takes time to comfort the women and children in the crowd. He stops and says to them, Don't cry for me, but for yourselves and your children. Sometimes we are so wrapped up in our own problems, we forget about others. Dear Jesus, you love me no matter what I do. Teach me to see how to deal with life. Help me to realize that sadness can come on to the past. And I can share the love with everyone I love. The ninth fish. Jesus falls the third time. Jesus falls for the last time under the weight of the cross, only to get up again. His falling is the only station that happens more than once. Jesus sets an example for all of us by trying again and again. When we fall, we must keep trying just as Jesus did. Dear Jesus, when I am really down, I ask. Will I ever get through this? Then I know that if I trust in you and my family, I will remember that you got up again and again. The tenth station. Jesus is stretched on his garments. Jesus stands on top of the hill and is stripped of his clothes. He teaches us that we should value people more than things. All the material things like clothes, iPods and toys that seem so valuable to us today are often thrown away tomorrow. Dear Jesus, everything I have is a gift from you. Everything I do, I try to do for you. Please help me to remember that with you in my life, I have everything I need. The 11th station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. The soldiers roughly place Jesus on the cross. The nails are driven into his hands and feet. give up what we have or do what we do not want to do. Dear Jesus, help me to forgive people who hurt me, my family or friends, the same way you forgave those who nailed you to the cross. The top station, Jesus dies on the cross. Jesus knows everything has been completed. He yells out, then bows his head and gives his spirit to God. It 
it was so necessary for Jesus to die this way, he was not a criminal, he had done nothing wrong. Sometimes, sad things happen to people we love. Dear Jesus, you died so that all those who believe in you can live in heaven forever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We went to the station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. The suffering is over, and the body of Jesus now rests peacefully in the arms of his mother. Mary's heart nearly breaks with sorrow. Jesus has shown us the way to love and has given us the gift of peace. Dear Jesus, I think I can understand how many of them. I have been sad too. And I am very sad. Help me remember to pray. When my friends are very sad, help me to be a good friend. The fourth and third year, the burial of Jesus. Jesus' body is placed in a tomb where it remains for three days. Thank you. 